We had some issues before when we still, were still using Ableton, but Ableton and MIDI is tricky still. I don't know why. We had some MIDI float issues. So then I was thinking maybe we should do the leap of faith and use this as the basis of the live show instead of an element and get rid of Ableton, which with me and Martin, we started with Ableton with controllers and then added hardware. Tonight's gonna be the second show ever just hardware, so it's so like a big step for, for us. I met the guys from Pioneer at uh, ADE, and they emailed us like, do you want to try the Taurus? And I was like, yeah, sure, you know, I was a bit skeptical in the beginning. I was actually really surprised about the versatility of this thing, because it really works like a, a, an MPC, but a little bit more now. What I don't like about the MPC is the, com is the structure, like the command line structure with the little thing. And this is a, a full color a, a touch screen pad. It really works. It's a sort of somewhere in between Ableton and the MPC. And then they added MIDI functionality, which for me made it you know, a complete different ball game because now I can sequence all this hardware just from here. And it frees up a lot of time to do different things because, you know, there's so many knobs. So what I did is program uh, all the drums within the Pioneer sequencer. The cool thing is about sequencing the drums from the Pioneer to the Electron is that it frees up the sequencer in the Electron for on-the-fly programming. Because that's the only thing that's not possible with the drums here because you have to press notes. And if you're gonna play notes, it's gonna override what you already sequenced. So this way I can, I can program it, extra drums into the sequencer of the Electron, which makes for us during the live show, every time, every show, we're, we're doing something different in different tracks. And the fact that we're using the Electron is because it's such a good machine. The rhythm is just, it's so clear sounding and so powerful. And you can load up your samples, you know, use uh, the synth engine maybe underneath. If the kick drum is not fat enough, you can sculpt like a, like a fat sine wave underneath to give it more, you know, more bass. And the performance modes on the Electron are just amazing. You know, you can add like all different parameters just on the touch of a button and it's touch sensitive as well. We still use the MX-1, which is actually a really powerful like substation for all the gear. Almost everything goes in here except for the drums that go directly into the mixer. So it has an effect sequencer. Uh, in this instance, I'm using the sidechain sequence and our tracks are heavily sidechained normally, so. But you don't wanna export your loops already sidechained. That doesn't feel right, you know? That's the thing with Ableton is like, you can have an EQ on there, so that's easy. And with hardware, it's not, there is no EQ, so you have to do it on the mixer, but it's only like three bands, so it's, you know, it's kind of hard. You were here when I asked the guy to just put on a track on the CDJ to see, you know, how, how that sounds com in comparison to what we're doing. All the tracks that we put in the live show are unmastered, because you use your own stems. So, you know, you have to work at getting it to sound right as the master track would sound like. And then we still uh, use the TB3. The cool thing about that is that the MX-1 and the TB3, they connect through USB. So it's audio and MIDI through USB, so it saves up a lot of space and cables. And big thing is the space echo, the pedal. It's nice, gives a well, cool old school space effect. And then Lawrence is using uh, the Prophet 6 which he made all the patches for. <laughs> He's a fucking wizard. Like we, we spent an afternoon and he was like, listening to all the tracks like, all right, wait a minute. So, that, oh wow, that's exactly the sound, you know. But it works very well with this one. Uh, Loris is also using the electro harmonics looper. It sounds really, really like true to what, your, what the input is. But it's still very temperamental. <laughs> But it's nice, it's a nice uh, addition. It's, it's cool and it's cool not using the laptop. You know?